Hey folks, Kevin and Hi, it's me, Thea here, <laughs> and I'm sucking on a Ricola, so if I look lying funny, that's why. <laughs> she's having a bit of a coughing spell, so she's uh, medicating herself. <laughs> so, uh, Thea and I have been hard at work the last few days processing garlic. And when I say processing garlic, I'm not talking about all of the other sorts of videos that we've done in the past as far as uh, bed prep, uh, getting the garlic uh cloves into the ground, uh, maintaining the, the garlic beds, and then ultimately going up and harvesting the scapes from the garlic and all the processes we do with that with those, or by harvesting, uh, doing the air drying initially in the field, then going ahead and curing the garlic and then putting them into our root cellar for, for prolonged storage. One, and one of the things about the bioactive or the phytonutrients that are in garlic is, just like in all plants, as time goes on, the bioavailability, the efficacy of the nutrients that are retained within the, the plant product that's there starts to degrade over time. So uh, my goal is always trying to retain as much of the phyto, the bioavailability of the phytonutrients as I possibly can by taking extra steps. So uh, today's video is going, this introduction is going to introduce some video sequences where we take the, uh, the garlic and break it up into the cloves and then we grind it up uh, in a food processor and, and we're, you're going to see the, all the different steps and then ultimately we, we dehydrate it and store it and it's going to take you through step by step and we do during the process uh, uh, say some some of the products that were used the tools that we're using uh, inappropriately so we don't not giving the exact names so ignore those they'll be they'll be listed in the description below and maybe links to Amazon so you can see the products themselves so for example on the food processor when I was talking on the video I called it a blend tech because we love our blend tech blender but it was really a Breville so I looked up the model number and everything today so Kevin can put those things below if you would like to search them out Right, so I'll try to put links to the things that we're that we use to make the process as easy as possible, and we're always refining the processes that we go through. So we're using Excalibur dehydrators. Uh, I'm using a type of paddle and a, and a cordless drill, and all those different things, and and that'll be apparent as as the video goes on. But with whenever. I'm thinking about a topic that I want to share with people. I'm always th asking these questions, who, what, where, when, why, and how. And certainly you're going to see what we're doing and how we're doing it, where we're doing it, like some of the work's being done over in the work area, some of it's being done in the kitchen, and so on. You're going to see the tools that we use. But most importantly is the why. Why are we going through all this effort, taking so many hours to do the job that we're doing, Days. Days, yes, <laughs> to do this. Uh, but it ends up being very, very uh, well. And I've mentioned in other videos, garlic that you pick up in the store, a lot of the garlic that comes into our country that you find in the grocery stores is from China. Um, it, it has been grown in raw sewage, uh, much of it re reportedly. And there are heavy metals in it as well. So you sort of have to balance out whether you want to be exposed to potential harmful agents and how much of the bioavailability of the nutrients are still there. So the really, and I'll also put a link to an article that's a pretty nice layman's terms, use layman's terms, um, the bioactive components inside of the garlic. So for, exa for example, there are, various phytonutrients. There's uh, polysaccharides that are very beneficial. There are phenols. There's, uh, there's also saponins. There's organosulfides. A whole variety of these things. And, uh, and I'm, the, the sulfide groups that are actually in garlic are so, so important uh, to me because they, they're precursors for some of the biotransformation processes that go on inside of the liver 
that actually uh, it's our glutathione pathway. And so this article, although it seems pretty, it could be overwhelming to a person who's, who's a lay person looking at all the things that, that, the, that these nutrients do, uh, it really is only scratching the surface. Uh, that was a lot of my research during my residency because you have to publish when you're getting your, your postdoctoral uh, degrees and all. And, uh, and so uh, th this is very near and dear to my heart, these, uh, these organosulfide groups that are bioactive inside of the, uh, of the garlic. So some of the benefits of garlic are certainly it's anti-inflammatory, immunomodulatory, anti-cancer, hepatoprotective, protects the liver cells, protects kidney cells, renal protective. Uh, it can help to reduce the chances of obesity. It, it also it ha helps with the, uh, with the cardiovascular system, re reduces the chances for strokes and inflammation in the blood vessels. Uh, so this, you know, garlic is such an amazing uh, uh, f food product that actually has so many amazing uh, benefits to our health. And, you know, for example, many people don't realize if you just go ahead and cook the garlic without crushing it, yes, it's still going to be very healthy for you, but it's only a fraction as healthy as if you crushed it and waited 10 to 15 minutes before, before uh, cooking it. And the reason for that is by damaging the cell walls of the, the cells in, in the garlic, what you're doing is you're releasing an enzyme that actually makes the transformation to make those beneficial sulfides. Uh, and there are a whole group of those, and those are pre precursors for many different mechanisms, including glutathione, inside of your, your cells. And it really helps you to, to transform. Uh, you, can, you can bind to harmful agents, uh, get toxins that, that get into your body. So, for example, if you were to drink alcohol and, and take Tylenol, acetaminophen, this can help neutralize the harmful compounds that damage your liver, damage your red blood cells, damage the lining of your, of your uh, blood vessels, the endothelial cells. A whole cascade of events can be circumvented by having these beneficial sulfides that feed into the glutathione, and I won't go on any further because I'll get too nerdy about this. However, I did scan the article. It's 30 pages, but the last page 17 to 30 is all references, so don't panic. And the conclusion is like a third of a page, and it really is very simplified. And all those yep. things he listed, in case you forget, and more um, that it does for us is, is right there. So you can get that just on the... On the web, they can yeah, read I'll, it. Yeah, I'll just put a link in the description mm. below. I just got to remember to put links to all these things there. It's kind of cool, you know, that, yeah. that a little old piece of garlic can do so good. And, and this really is uh, as close to easy reading as I think. Uh, this isn't really a medical journal, but it ref it, uh, the references do go to many different uh, medical journals. And the, the list, I mean, for example, when I did my paper on glutathione, it started off with 64 pages, uh, single spaced <laughs> to start out with, and it really had to be cut down to be published you know, significantly. So there's so much, so there's so many beneficial aspects to, to having these, these bioactive substances inside our body, so garlic is absolutely fantastic, as are many of the things that we grow here on our property. So what's going to happen now is you're going to see the process that we go through and uh, we hope that you enjoy the video. And if you have comments and questions, please list them below. I'll try to respond to them as best as I can. I don't know all the answers. This is not medical advice, but certainly uh, it's one of the things that you can do to, to help yourself is by doing further research and learning about some of these food uh, substances and how to get the most out of, out, of, out of the food and how to eliminate some of the contaminants that are easily available in the grocery stores as well. Mm -hmm. And we got a total of 14 jars that were quart jars all dried, you know, so yep. that's really a lot of garlic. So that'll be, that'll be great. And it's done. Woohoo.
Yep. <laughs> so I hope you folks enjoy the video and without any further ado, we'll just go ahead and start the video now. Thanks so much for watching and take care folks. Thanks. Bye bye. Okay, uh, I think today's November 13th, 2021. I'm over in the work area. I have uh, at least one more uh, container of uh, our Chinook uh, red garlic down in the root cellar, but this is one I've had in here for a while. And uh, my plant, and I've got some other ones over here. So when I first harvest them, anything that doesn't have all of the wraps on them, that aren't going to store as well or that have been damaged by either a deer's uh, hoof uh, you know contacting the area uh, the wraps didn't complete any of those issues I break those up they're uh, put into uh, the simple little cloves we get them separated into cloves then I use my beater uh, which is a a paint mixer or mortar mixing uh, paddle on my cordless battery uh, cordless drill and that will remove a lot of the cloves then Thea will clean them off the rest of the way run them through the food processor and uh, anything that's bad will find uh, as they get cleaned up and uh, once they run through the food processor then they come over here and we put them in the dehy uh, dehydrators right here. So this is February. This is one of the jobs I've got to get get done. It's pretty. Uh, um, gee whiz! I got stuff all over the floor here. It's uh, still pretty darn. It's below freezing outside. So I just thought I'd show you the process that I go through. Uh, some old garlic uh, uh, wraps here and some uh, some uh, hickory shag bark hickory uh, shells here as well so we'll go through this process and see what we can do and basically I'm just going to break these up into individual clothes Just a nice quick way for me to go through the process here. And I don't worry about all the little extra wraps uh, that are still on the cloves as I'm doing this. These will, 90% of them will get beat off when I use the, uh, when I use the paddle that's typically used for mixing mortar or mixing uh, paint. I love the smell of this garlic. Gosh, it's going to smell fantastic over here. And really, this is a, a straightforward, simple process here. We have some nice ambient music in the background. <laughs> ah, don't mess up where I'm putting everything. Okay, uh, so now it's time for part two. You can see I've got the cloves inside of a five gallon bucket. It's about two thirds full. You can see some of the wraps are coming off of the cloves already. There's some bad spots. Thea will cut those off. But the next step is taking the cordless drill, of course you could use a, 
a corded drill uh, and I have the um, the paint mixing paddle or mortar mixing paddle uh, either way this will work great I have a top now this is one of the tops to a to a bucket that sort of locks down which makes it much easier so the pop, the top doesn't bounce around on it so but you could do it any way you want uh, with the panel uh, rotating around inside of the bucket uh, one of the things I would say is you can throw some of the cloves right out of the bucket. Now I use this same system for doing our seeds. You've seen me uh, potentially doing the uh, San Marzano tomato seeds, the uh, peppers uh, plant seeds. Uh, you know, uh, I do this with all different sorts of seeds that I'm getting ready for uh, planting. We'll do this with the with the beans as well. So uh, one of the things that will happen with garlic is garlic will get beat up a little bit because of the force, but the action of the paddle bouncing up against the cloves helps to loosen the wrap. So when the, when the cloves are put in the sink, the wraps separate completely. Now this paddle doesn't have to hit every single clove. It, the paddle will hit one clove which bangs into other cloves and gradually the um, the outer casing of each of the cloves gets displaced. The other thing that happens as we're doing this, some of the oils, and these are some of the beneficial effects of garlic, uh, the, the oils start to get secreted from the cloves themselves. And that'll make all of the, uh, the, the, the little coverings of the cloves start to uh, stick to the walls, stick to the panel itself, and so on. So I'm just going to go through this and, uh, and I'll show you the process. So I've got it in lower speed. This is something that I'll do repeatedly with all of the different garlic cloves. I have a whole bunch more to do yet. Now I'll just take a second and go right around the top here. I'm not going to dig down any deeper just yet. Stop it, unlock it, and you'll see some of the cloves oils are, are being secreted from the cloves themselves and they're sticking there, which is just fine. Everything will be washed off and they'll be dehydrated as well. Then Okay. So a lot of these will come up much easier, but some won't, I see. We'll see once they get in there, but you can see quite a few of them are, are much closer to being ready to process, process. And once they've been beaten a little bit, the water gets between the clove and the uh, and the casing that's on them. She is hard at work packaging up the burgers that she made. Oh my Our God. Oats and rice and beans. Oh my God.
So all these we let sit. You see, they just start coming right off, nice and easy. Not all of them. They may have to sit here for a while. But they will pick through them, right, hon? Sure. You're on. What I'm doing is after Kevin had beat the garlic up. Show that again. Okay. What we have to do is get the coverings off. So the easiest way that we found to do this is to go ahead and put it in a sink full of water and it loosens it up. And we take our gloves, um, clean rubber gloves and go back and forth with our hands in there and that loosens it even more. And we got to peel um, any that is still on, toss it in here, put it in the compost bin, then it goes in the blender and after we blend it... So it's the food processor. Right, food processor, yep. And um, then it looks like that. And that is small enough so it would dry quickly um, in the dehydrators overnight and then after it's totally dry then we put it in a clean uh, five gallon pail bring it back in here and then blend it again so it's like a powder like you would cook with and that that works great so that's it that's the whole process that's the whole process a little time consuming but we love it because we love garlic <laughs> okay All right, do you have trays that are ready to get loaded yet, or? Um, yeah, we can start with these. And might be free hydrators, we'll see. So how thick do you want this on here? Not too thick, because it'll dry faster. And it won't bump into the tray above it and below it. <clears throat> so is this enough for the whole tray, do you think, or do you want? Yeah, I just spread it all out so it's like, like the, you know, like I spread like that. Well, do you want to, all right. No, I'll get the trays ready. You can spread. Yep. Get a small like that, you know.
Go ahead and fire them up. Got one, two, three, four, five dehydrators. And probably be about 24 hours, you think? Yep. We put it kind of in the middle. Yep. With herbs. Right, really, really. Uh, oh. Yep. You want to start your way over and I'll turn off yep. the lights and all? What I find, do you want me to start it? Yeah, you okay. go right ahead, hon. take the two layers out, the screen for support, and then the almost like parchment paper on top. So if you just take this one out, it'll start to crumble and get a little bit of food. And I'll just put it in like this, fold it in half. What I'm doing is just kind of hitting it and it unsticks it from the parchment paper. Yes, it has all oils on it. We'll take this one out here. Sometimes I just fold it like this, and you can see how you do it. Loosens it up good. Work. Work it down. Pretty good. Put this back on here. And go to the next one. Oh, that's wonderful, honey. So this is what it looks like. These. This is a, the next morning. And uh, Right. Sure, just bring it right over the top here and, and you can take that out now. Hank likes garlic, so as we chop little chunks, he's getting them. Although he's not supposed to eat it, because it's not yep. good for dogs. Hank, get out of there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We had these circuit breakers work, and they all, all the dehydrators were hot overnight.
Okay, ready to go over to the food processor? Yep. Okay, hon. I'm going to start doing that. It'll take me a little while to set up just to get the vacuum sealer and get the lids. Well, call me when you're getting ready so that I can come over and film you. All right. <laughs> I'll do that. Okay, hon. You're on. All right. You, Hank, and Timmy are going to help with the garlic. So what we're going to do is we left off with um, Kevin getting the garlic into the bucket from the work area from the dehydrators. So now what I do, and I'll explain it first, then I'll show you, is we take it and we scoop some out and we put it in the Blendtec food processor, which, by the way, we really like the Blendtec. We've had several Cuisinarts, but this is super. And then we grind it up and we place it in our bucket ground up. Then we're going to work to this side of the kitchen and we're going to pour it in here in each jar and we're going to put a um, lid on that we label and we're going to use our old seal meal to seal the top on and then we put it on our shelf and then eat it. Okay, so let's start from over here. Let's see what my So Hank right now is driving me nuts. Hank, easy! He doesn't think he gets enough love. So I just find this plastic thing is easy to work with. I fill it about two-thirds the way up. It's amazing how fast it will grind it down to a powder. at it, super happy, yep, and pour it in our other bucket, put this back, and I go to the other side of the kitchen, oh, I need my little scooper. this nice little funnel that my girlfriend gave me. And a little bit more. You don't want to get too close to the rim, otherwise it gets under the rim and that doesn't seal it. Put this on and press it down. I have it on the medium setting. Just press the start button and it will go through the cycle. all sealed and ready to put on the shelf. So I'm going to be doing this. And you have those labeled? Yeah, I, I did a couple and then you came in so I have to label some more. So um, So you label it garlic and the date. Oh, yeah. That's what I was trying to get oh, you yeah, to say. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, just garlic and the date so we know what it is. And, and that's it. And these are for cooking. I'm putting on pizza. Thanks, We'll have pizza tonight. <laughs> That would be good. All right, so I'll continue this, and then I think you're going to come in with more garlic that has to soak in the sink and get ready for the dehydrators, right? Yeah, we have a couple more days of it. Yep. Oh, boy. Okay.